Death Trap is a comedy thriller, and it's a story about this guy named Sidney Brule, who in our production is played by the incredible Simon Russell Beale. And he's a playwright who hasn't had a hit play in the last 18 years. And he jokes with his wife, played by Claire Skinner, that uh, he would kill to have another successful play, which is where my character comes in. I've written, I'm a student of his at college, and I've written a perfect play, a perfect thriller. And so he invites me over to talk about the thriller with the intentions to maybe kill me in order to get it. The thing that's unique about Clifford in Death Trap is uh, he's completely surprising. You think that he's one thing, and then in the next scene you think he's completely different, and then in the next scene he just continues to surprise the audience, and uh, he has many secrets. There's all these sort of like twists and turns, which I can't give away, you just have to come see the play. But people laugh a lot, and people literally scream, like, ah, like scream from fear. The things that attracted me most to the play when I first was given the script to audition for it, I knew that Matthew Warchus was attached to direct, and that Simon Russell Beale was attached to star in it. One of the things that really impresses me about Simon is that he's done so many different things with his career, so many different types of plays, so many different types of roles. He completely loses himself into each part that he's played, and uh, I'm inspired by that. I like to try my hand at trying to do as many things as I possibly can as well, and, and challenging myself in the way that Simon has chosen to challenge himself by taking on these huge parts and different parts. And I definitely want to do Shakespeare at some point. That's definitely on my list. One of the reasons I took Death Trap was because I'd be able to explore the city. Everybody makes fun of me whenever I try to do a British accent because I end up sounding like Dick Van Dyke. But um, living in London has been, in a lot of ways actually, it does still remind me of those movies that I grew up watching as a child. Because, uh, you know, it's anything sort of British, whether it was Peter Pan or Mary Poppins or Bedknobs and Broomsticks, feels sort of magical to me. So oftentimes, walking through the streets of London makes me feel like I'm in I'm in one of those movies in, in some ways, so that certainly has been the case. Uh, the thing that I I love about London is walking around and seeing the, it's so beautiful and so quaint and just really, really gorgeous to look at. I love walking around the city. It's been really fun. Baby, baby, baby. I spent four months in Los Angeles sitting in traffic in my car for hours, as one does in Los Angeles in their car. And so I had all this free time to sort of sit and listen to music and sing in my car, which I love to do. And so out of that came this concert that was sort of a reflection of the music I was listening to my car, to in my car, and also a reflection of what I was going through emotionally in that time. And so I'd like to do a concert in London but I'm just not bored enough to like sit around and think of what I would like to sing. Uh, theater is like doing a marathon because you know you're doing eight shows a week and you have to learn how to conserve your energy and not blow it all out in one night. Uh, film and TV, you have one, it's pretty essentially one day, one shot to shoot this one scene. And so it's like a sprint because you put all of your focus and energy into this one day of shooting because for the rest of your life you'll never say these lines or play this scene again. I was doing a pilot for Ryan Murphy who created Glee uh, for FX that did not get picked up. But I was shooting that pilot while, while I was doing Spring Awakening and I was given three weeks off to go to Los Angeles and shoot this pilot. During that time there was a stagehand strike in New York and so Spring Awakening was shut down for a couple of weeks. Leah Michelle came to Los Angeles to hang out with me and uh, we went to dinner one night and the director of the show, Ryan Murphy, said, Leah, if this show that I'm doing with Jonathan doesn't get picked up, I'm gonna do this show called Glee and there's a role for you on it that would be so perfect. And Jonathan, if the show got picked up, I'd write something for you on it. And so then fast forward to six months later, my pilot doesn't get picked up, Glee is happening, Leah gets Glee, and then six months later, Ryan writes me a part on the show. And it's kind of an amazing thing because you hear about these directors and producers in Hollywood sort of making promises that they don't fulfill. You know, that's sort of like Hollywood is sort of famous for that, for people kind of blowing smoke. 
And, uh, and this Ryan Murphy completely followed through with his promise. And it's pretty, he's a pretty remarkable guy. He's very, very loyal, incredibly gifted, obviously. But really, I'm so impressed that he, you know, followed through with what he said. It's pretty great.